Hi everyone, I'm going to react to Haikyuu Season 1, Episode 2. Last episode, you were introduced to Sho and uh, Kageyama. Sho saw the... What was the thing called? Karasuno's High School Volleyball, volleyball Club play like three years ago and then he saw the little giant whatever he did inspired him to want to do volleyball and he practiced by himself tried to get his friends to help him and then he was able to go to the turn tournament he went there he wound up facing kageyama's team and he wound up losing kageyama called the king of the court and after he lost Sho was like he's gonna do everything he can to beat him one day and some time passed he winds up <laughs> going to Karasuno's high school and who is there waiting for him the all the one and only Kageyama so yeah I don't know how that's gonna work out like how the rivalry is gonna play out also while I was editing the first episode I realized that Kageyama is a sitter and show is a spiker setter spiker so as amazing as kageyama is and with the potential that show has i can only imagine like how amazing that duo is gonna be once they finally you know like understand each other or i don't know once once they finally stop with the rivalry between them two like I can only imagine how far they're gonna go, how far they might be able to carry their their team, whatever, into the tournaments and whatever it is that they're gonna do later on in the series. So yeah, that's I'm looking forward to it. So here we go. Karasuno High School Volleyball Club. Oh. <laughs> they look alike, really. He don't. Oh, okay. He remembers him, but he doesn't know his name. It's not like he doesn't want to, like, he just didn't have the opportunity. Yeah, makes sense. Oh. Okay, Karasuno. So they were the three that was looking on. Okay. Don't make fun of his height. Do you want to be the ace? He thinks that he's been goofing around. Like, that's not what happened. It's not. Nothing you ever do is a waste. <laughs> Daichi-san? Who's that? Can y'all listen? Ooh. 
<laughs> what is up with the old ladies? Boys, don't make the captain look bad. Then let him speak. If we're gonna see the little giant in the future. That means you two have to. <laughs> Are they afraid of the captain? Now you're on the same team? Mm-hmm. <laughs> What is he doing? What is he doing? Okay, you want to look so cute holding the paper like this and looking up at the captain? Uh. Really? Oh, yeah, he's been playing by himself, so. He Yo. <sighs> Don't y'all get what he just told you? <laughs> the scary eye. For real? For real? You broke and touched the ball twice? As though, are those rules of the game? Can't touch the ball twice? <laughs> Good question. For real? For real? Yep. That was his first time. <laughs> Keep from seeing you. Who? Who are you? Really? She's cute. Is that the trainer? Of the team? Kyoko. Wow, they figured it out. <laughs> 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 Did they practice this? <laughs> okay. So there are two other people. Two other newbies. I should get used to calling him Hinata instead of Sho, right? <sighs> he just needed to be propped up a little. <laughs> I 
He's so excited. What is talking about it? Because he's self centered. For real. to work together are we gonna see the little giant sometime in the future I feel like we have to right like that's his idol so they has to they have to meet at some point okay I absolutely loved this episode and as I was watching it I tried to write down the names of the characters that were showing up and I might be wrong about some of them, especially suga -san. I'm not totally sure if that's his name, the guy with the gray hair, because he... I think they only said his name once, but I, I loved him. Well, what I loved about him is that <laughs> after the captain pushed Kageyama and Hinata out, and he closed the door on their faces each time the door to the gym opens he will just like come with this look on his face and just like boom closing on i just i just love that like i love that it made me laugh so much and then you have that son the captain the captain <laughs> i love them when he first got into the gym and then he was trying to talk to the boys and the boys were just not listening to him he just had this sweet and calm voice and i'm like oh what a nice captain but then he just marched on them and just gave them this intense stare and they were like Ugh. so i'm like he might be sweet but don't mess with him <laughs> and then you have kyoko kyoko's the girl right when I first saw her and then she came into the gym, I started thinking that maybe she was the uh, what's it called the the trainer of the team. Cause when I think back to Kuroko, their trainer was a girl. So when I saw her, I'm like, maybe she is as well. And then I saw her with a like a a notebook in her hand and I think she was writing something down. But she was just on the side, she wasn't saying much, so I don't know, I might be wrong. And then Tanaka. Tanaka's amazing. When he first came in, he had this like Ugh, look on his face. Like he's trying to intimidate the boys. Like he was some kind of gangster or something. And then he just turned into this sweetheart. Like when Tan uh, Hinata and Kageyama were outside and they were arguing. And then they're like, we need to train. We need to use the gym, but like they didn't know when or how they were gonna do that. And then Tanaka was like, "We we practice at 7 a.m. right? Like just giving them the lowdown of when the team practices so that they can choose another time to come." On. And then one the guys chose to be there like at 5 a.m. And they got there, and the gym was closed. And Tanaka comes with the 
key to the gym. Oh, I love them. And then he was like, call me Danaka Sensei. <laughs> and they kept repeating it. Oh, I just love that. And then, yeah, I think those were the characters. Now, with Kageyama and Hinata. Those two. Especially Kageyama. I'm like, okay, you challenged the captain, the team, to a match. And if you win, I'm guessing you're back on the team or, or whatever. But if he loses, he's not gonna become a setter. And then he went to the, he went to the like went as he went about explaining what a setter does and how why he loves being a setter and you can tell that he's really passionate about that position now that you give him this challenge when you want to do everything that you can to win you should right and then he's like he he's not gonna count on hinata he's just gonna fo focus on tanaka and i'm like have you not seen what hinata can do last episode you guys went against each other and you saw how fast like oh his reflexes he even said that hinata overwhelms him so you see all that but you're not gonna use it to win the match like that's stupid and even hinata calls them stupid like when the captain was like looking at him intently and he's like he would rather do everything by himself instead of relying on hinata and i'm like boy He needs to work on his like his self-centeredness because that's what the captain said he, that he was he was self-centered he needs to work on that because yeah he can't go through life being being like that he needs to rely on the other people i know that you're strong i know that you know that you're strong but like you're not going to be able to do everything by yourself okay so count on the people that are around you and that includes hinata hinata at least i know that he also doesn't like a gamer but he's able i feel like he's more open to putting everything aside and work together for a common goal but kageyama is just like i'm amazing you're not i'm not gonna rely on you i'm just gonna use tanaka like really i'm looking forward to the to the match itself because they said that the other team there's gonna be two new um recruits i guess that's gonna join them on the other team i wonder who from who else is gonna join that team because it's gonna be three on three right so you have tanaka on this team i wonder what which third year is gonna be on the other team i'm assuming it's gonna be a third year and not just rookies yeah i wonder who's gonna be and i'm really looking forward to it thank you guys for watching and if you like this reaction please give it a thumbs up please subscribe and please come back on wednesday for my reaction to episode three of haikyuu thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye